it's just it's hard to put words to it and I think everybody that's been on these trips um, would agree that when people ask you when you get back like how was it and like like tell me everything what happened it's just such a humbling experience that it's hard to explain to them unless you've been on the trip how great it is and how much you just learn and it changes you. It gave you a lot of time to think and to pray um, just about what was going on there and you just for that whole week-long period you forget all your little stupid worries from home and, um, and just the things that you realize mean nothing and have no meaning and just um, you it's just you and God um, I think they're important to just realize how fortunate we are here in the United States and where we come from and just to pass on Christianity to others and um, to show God's yeah. love to those around you and to grow as a congregation as well with um, when you go with the trips with the church uh -huh. and whoever you go with. The most rewarding part for me is seeing um, the young kids on the work site and just their smiling faces and they're always just everybody's so happy and they have nothing near what we have here at St. Luke's in, in Grand Rapids. Um, when we were in Senegal, me and Tara Riles, I'm sure she would agree, we had these little girls that would just follow us around um, every day and like walk us to the work site, walk us to lunch, and they all just had the biggest smiles and most beautiful smiles on all the time. And it, it just, the whole trip, and same with Argentina, it's like you can't wipe the smile off your face because their happiness is so contagious, contagious, contagious. Yeah. yeah.